I love being retired. Um, I thought I've, I did for a while. I wasn't sure what I was going to do when I retired, and it's sort of like, what are you going to do when you grow up as a child? And still as an adult, I still don't know what I want to do. Um, I thought I wanted to be a surveyor, a land surveyor, so I went back to the community college for a year, and I was having trouble. I didn't have trouble with the math. I had an algebra class where I didn't have enough time to finish it, and I got really, really frustrated for a day. And I said, that's not what retirement's supposed to be about, frustration, so I quit. <laughs> It was supposed to be fun. I think the easiest way to explain pickleball is uh, it's just another racket sport, uh, a derivative of tennis or table tennis or badminton. Um, it's played on a smaller court than a tennis court. It's uh, dimensions of 44 by 20 with a tennis net. Uh, the game's played a lot like tennis where uh, you, you get one bounce of the ball. Um, the, the equipment itself is um, is smaller. It's, it's played with a racket that's similar to a table tennis racket, a little bigger. It only weighs about eight ounces. And uh, the ball itself is a, a wiffle ball about the size of a, a baseball. And I understand the name Pickleball came from the person that started it. The, his dog was Pickles, and Pickles would run after the ball when it went out of the court. And so that's how it got Pickleball. If it were called Super Ball or Hero Ball or Wonder Ball, it probably would be the most popular sport in the country right now. But alas, it's named Pickleball and it's going to last, stay that way forever probably. I'm quite active and I find since I've retired that the more active I am, the better off I am mentally. <laughs> Um, I do yoga on Mondays, I have basketball on Monday nights, I do basketball on Thursdays, on Wednesdays I do a sewing group. I'm actually a, a professional golfer, former professional golfer, and so I, I'm trying to fit the golf back in. Um, pickleball has just started again and I'm, I'm anxious to see what happens with the golf club, uh, ball when I get back to the golf, um, but I think it'll be fine. I played the LPGA from 74 um, to 77, four years best finish on the LPGA Tour was a second, and the girl chipped it in to beat me. Uh, I've been competitive all my life, very active, played any sport that you invite me to play. And I found pickleball about 10 years ago in Florida through my brother Felix. And I've been playing steady now for about three years. Uh, it's just a great, great game, and I love it. I've invited people to play, and the first day they came to me and said, I love this game. And that's, that's my motto, I love this game. You know, it is addictive. Uh, you play pickleball, and I think uh, you play Play it for a long time. A gentleman called it exercise in disguise and I think what he meant was that you're having so much fun playing pickleball you forget you're exercising but at the end of the day you know you've you have a good sweat on you. We have a, a, a gentleman who's been playing with us for about eight or nine months already. He's been trying to lose weight for the last ten years. About a month ago he came and put his arm around my shoulder he said dude I lost 14 pounds playing pickleball, and that's about an eight or nine month period. So it is exercise in disguise, and it's a lot of fun. I have a saying that, you know, real athletes play pickleball. So it is. I mean, if you think it's not a real sport, we'll challenge you. Come out or give it a try. That's all I can say. It is a real sport. I'm always moving, sometimes too much for my own health, but that's how I've been all my life, you know. 
When I go and play, whatever it is, basketball, football, I always go all out. Sometimes I forget how old I am. See, my mind says yes, my body says no, but it's a competitive game, and if you get four people of equal ability, you will have a very competitive, high-quality game. I enjoy playing pickleball uh, basically because it's a, a great recreational sport and uh, gives me opportunity now that I'm retired to uh, meet some new people and still get some athletic activities uh, in my daily routine. I started playing pickleball uh, because it was sort of a, a, a rehab for my tennis elbow. Uh, I uh, I'd hurt myself playing tennis and uh, I still wanted to stay active. The racket itself is light, so it didn't bother my elbow, and I was able to uh, still do ground strokes and, and, and not have any pain. So ultimately, it helped my tennis game, but it also introduced me to a new game that uh, I've sort of fallen in love with. I think uh, baby boomers like myself are already wired to try and stay active. They always, act. I think of myself as a person that wants to stay young and I think my peers are the same way. So uh, this game uh, just gives us another opportunity to, you know, stay active, stay physical, uh, without, without a lot of stress on joints. And uh, so it, it's an easy game for that. My background um, 30 years ago, 40 years ago now, I guess, uh, was physical education and health. And, this gives me an opportunity to go back to that and um, teach again. So I, I'm sort of taking this opportunity, not just to play, but to introduce and teach and coach, whether it's a senior player like myself or uh, a youngster. I play pickleball. I, I still stay active in other sports. Uh, I, I play a lot of golf. I still play tennis. Uh, I play some racquetball. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, my free time is also uh, taken up by a part-time job that I've uh, picked up uh, and it's uh, working at a craft brew and wine store. And I have a grand grandson that I can't wait until he's old enough to pick up a racket because I'll be teaching him all the games that I love. I like sort of team games where the, well, it's, it's you know, the, the consequences aren't uh, severe. Um, most of the people who play here, you know, you lose or lose, who cares? Um, you, know, you make one good shot the entire game, you feel good after. You know, I never did that before. What I like about it, too, is, is the, uh, uh, the quickness, the reaction times. And, um, you know, the, the, there is a lot of strategy, and some people are better than others at it. And I tend to not be as good as a lot of other people in the strategy part. Uh, but I really enjoy, you know, just being there close to the net, you know, with four people, you know, rapid volleying. And somebody's going to win that, but, you know, it's just fun to be part of it. I like to play at least twice a week. Sometimes I don't have enough uh, leg to uh, play more than that. It's, you know, it just depends. But it's been an incentive for me to, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, I do certain kinds of exercises, especially, you know, uh, upper chest, arms, because there's a lot of extending and, and you know, I, I don't want to develop shoulder problems. I went to this guy and he has me doing a lot of uh, hamstring stretching. He says, you know, my problem is really hamstring. And it's just, I have to do that every day. It's not arthritis. No, I have arthritis in the hip. <laughs> but not in my knee. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to build up my stamina and, you know, work on my legs, if you would, to, to make them stronger. You know, no one takes it that seriously. And when someone does, 
you know, I think we sort of help them realize that it's not worth taking <laughs> seriously. And, you know, it's just fun. You know, it's fun to be around the people that play. <laughs> Two different. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I got a good lace on one that'll go over both of those. The worst thing is not to play. I, you know, I've seen so many people my age and a little older that stop doing things. And they just go downhill a lot quicker. I think it's a lot better to keep seniors playing the sport as long as they can. You know, if they can't play at a high level like I didn't play today, you should still keep playing because you need the exercise, you need the muscle stretches, you need to get your heart rate up. There's just, you know, no reason not to play. I love playing pickleball primarily because it's uh, a wonderful alternative to the sport I played for 35 years, which is tennis. Um, I had a couple of uh, physical problems, I had some knee problems, and then I had a uh, carotid artery uh, problem that affected my arm. I can't lift my arm any higher than this, my left arm, and I'm left-handed, but I find that playing pickleball, uh, especially on this, on this small field, allows me to have all the action I can handle and uh, not have the stress and strain that tennis ball is. Pickleball is, as the young kids say, going viral all over the country. And uh, so it's getting very popular here in Cary as well as many other places. So it was just a natural transition for me. I'm on the Town of Cary Parks and Recreation and Cultural Resources Advisory Board. It's a board of 10 volunteers. I'm, I'm, I'm the pickleball zealot on the group of ten and so I'm trying to use that those offices to convince Kerry to get more proactive. Actually if you took the slab of one tennis court which is 120 feet by 60 you could actually get four pickleball courts on the same real estate and there's a couple of uh, facilities in town that have like single courts that have the fencing and the most important thing is they've got the lighting. So if we could get pickleball courts on one of those tennis slabs we could actually have night play, which would be, a, again, a big step forward for the town of Cary. And they're, they're, making, you know, they're making progress. Obviously, I'd like to see more progress faster, but they're, they're making good progress. And uh, pretty soon it'll be a little bit like the villages, 110 pickleball courts in town. <laughs> Play again? <laughs> 